So guys, the pit, check this car out. Do call part high damage on the vehicles that they sell. You guys are always asking, what does X stand for? Or what does X signify? Let's go check out the new build on the channel. So the different letters, the suffixes can indicate Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a super exciting episode from your boy D at Salvage Nation. I am at a service station parked up on the way to my local co Park branch. We're gonna be doing a co Park walk around. We've got some exciting cars to go check out. I just wanna have a walk around the yard. They have got thousands and thousands of salvage vehicles and me being a salvage car rebuilder, this is gonna be car heaven. But that's not the only thing that I'm gonna be doing today because yesterday I put a poll out on both my Instagram Instagram and my YouTube account and I've got a bunch of questions from you guys you guys have been asking specific questions to Cole Park and I'm heading down to see one of the managers at this Cole Park location and we're gonna be asking some questions because I want Cole Park to have their say about some of the questions that you guys are constantly asking so if you want to see that stay tuned I'm gonna continue trucking on and we'll catch up with you once I'm at Cole Park let's go Guys, we're just pulling up. Hello, mate. I'm here to see Nicole. Nicole? Yeah. For an um, interview or something? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, you got a high face? Yes, it's in the boot. You got one, yeah? Yeah. Oh, nice. Um, I just need to park this you want to go park, you see where the uh, Range Rover is, yeah, yeah. the black one? Well, just park over near that one. Yeah. And yeah, just the office is just behind there. Spot on, man. Nice time, mate. Thank you. Easy enough. Already I'm starting to see a ton of cars. Customer toilets, high vis. You have arrived. Yes, I have. Alright guys, leave it with me. I need to go get change, get my high vis on, blah blah, find out who I need to go see, and we're gonna be getting behind the scenes at Copart. How's that? High vis on, let's go inside. <laughs> Alright guys, so we've come through to the back. This is the yard inside Copart Sandy. And speaking of yard, I've got Sam here, who's the yard manager. And he's going to be asking the questions that you guys put in the poll yesterday. So, where's that paper? This is the paper that I printed out when I got home. And a lot of you guys, thank you all for commenting. You commented on the poll yesterday and you said, you, these are the questions that you wanted to ask Copart. So, Sam, if you must. I'm more than happy to, yeah. Thank you very much. I'm here with you, yourself. We're going to be going through a few cars, like you say. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Answer and some questions. Guys, check it out. Look at this beautiful Ferrari behind Copart. Do you know when this is going into the auction? I believe it's already ready for auction, so it'll probably be next week, Monday or Wednesday. Spot on. So, you can only, not only can you get cheap runarounds, you can get the more valuable high-end cars here at Copart. And remember, if you Click the link down below, you can register and you could be driving a brand new Ferrari. You never know. But anyway, for now, one of my subscribers wanted to know, um, how do you ensure that Copart are not hiding damage on the vehicles that they sell? Or should I say, do Copart hide damage on the vehicles that they sell? No, we don't hide the damage, especially not intentionally. We do offer virtual viewings available to all members. Mm. They can sign up and pay a £10 fee. Mm. They'll get the opportunity to have somebody go around on a video call with them. Yeah. They'll check over the whole car. You can direct them wherever you want. And like, like I say, any issues that you think might be with the car, hear it running or anything like that. Spot on. And that's something new that you guys have done since COVID, right? Yeah, so we obviously, what with social distancing and that, we stopped the on-site virtual viewing. Uh, that, the on -site that's viewing, actually sorry. one of the questions that they wanted to ask. That, that's it, yeah. So that's we, literally the next question on the chat right here. Or that's the next question on the paper. So, but, yeah, on. sorry. Uh, yeah, we stopped the on-site viewings because of COVID yeah. um, initially. Um, we just found out it's more beneficial to not have members of the public on site due to health and safety work going on. Uh, the loaders, obviously, you've seen them driving yeah, around, yeah. I suppose. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's the main reason why we and is there that. any is there any chance of that being kind of looked into in the future to start it it's back up? It's not on the books at the moment, I don't believe. Again, it's more beneficial for members for the sake of £10 for having half an hour, a 10 minute call, sorry, to go around the vehicle, 
get more in depth to it. You save yourself on fuel and everything like that. What I've what I've heard as well is um, a few of my subscribers had said that if you're, it's it's a good idea to pay that ten pounds to have a look at that particular vehicle. But if you've got ten vehicles in your watch list and you want to see or know about all ten, then they run into a few problems. But, um, so yeah, well we do try to cover as many of the bases as we can. Uh, obviously, like like you've seen on the images yourself, we try to cover any structural points. Yeah. We've started adding additional damage photos where we can. Okay. Uh, just yeah, to try and cover as much as we can for you guys. Spot on. Okay, so question two, literally, why do you no longer have in-person vehicle viewings anymore? You've covered that. Um, so question number three, and I won't keep you much longer. No, you're right. Because I want to dig into these cars, man. <laughs> um, who determines the categories of the vehicles that Copart sells? So that will be completely down to the insurance companies. Okay. We don't actually have any say in the categorization of the vehicles. Okay. We will supply reports and yeah, the insurance companies will make their decision based on So they send there. someone down to... Yeah, they're, they're either, we've got engineers on site ourselves that we will compile a report and send it over to them and some insurance companies will send obviously mm. their own engineers down to check the vehicles. Okay, nice. And this brings me on to a topic. I always say this to my subscribers, right? Cope, in my opinion, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but in my opinion, Copart do not own the cars that they sell. You are kind of like a middle intermediary. Is that is that true? Or how does it how does Copart work? What is so the yeah, for, for the majority of them, we, we don't own them. Uh, so yeah, you've got your insurance cars. We also sell traders cars. Mm -hmm. We also offer a service cash for cars mm -hmm. where you have the ability to sell the vehicle to Copart. Yeah. Uh, you'll basically be able to raise a quote for it. We'll offer you an amount. Once you've accepted it, we'll then offer to come and get the vehicle for you. Okay. And yeah. Yeah, I've actually sold a couple of cars at Copart and it's literally, I booked it one day and the following morning, like literally, you right, mate, I'm outside to collect the car. It was, like, it was smooth, it was easy. We, we do aim to do that. Obviously we have issues like any company, yeah. sickness, holiday, mm -hmm. things like that. But yeah, we try to make it as quick and smooth as possible. No problem. Okay, question number four. How does Breaker Bid For You work? And the reason I'm asking this is I've used Breaker Bid For You when I've got a car that I'm repairing. Sometimes I need parts and it just, it makes more sense to buy a parts car than to go buy, an, especially if you've got a high-end car where the parts are through the roof yeah. as they are. But how does Break a Bid For You work? Because a lot of my subscribers are not aware of Break a Bid For You. So you go on the website, uh, you click under the Break a Bid For You section, mm -hmm. you'll fill out an on online form for it. We then bid on the car for you at the amount that you've requested. And if you're successful in that amount, the, the successful in winning the vehicle, yeah. we then notify you. Mm -hmm. uh, then we've got a separate shed where we'll bring the car out for you. We'll have already removed the engine and the rear axle. Spot on. You can come in, remove any parts of the vehicle you like in that bay for that day. Yeah. And then we will load up the engine and the rear axle for you. Spot on, spot on. I've actually used that service and it's a really good service. So if you need any parts, check out Break a Bid For You from Colpart. It's really good. All right. All right, Sam, so the sun is actually getting a little <laughs> bit spicy now, but we're almost done. Um, you've just answered that question about break a bid for you. I just want to have another one. Um, do cars have to be category B for you to use the break a bid for you service? No, nope, they can be any category. Uh, like I say, you come in, strip what parts you need, and we'll dispose of the shell. I didn't know that. And anything else, yeah. So any if you've got category. a cat in, but you just decided you want to break it, you will remove yep. it. And you guys remove, you actually physically remove the we'll, engine. We'll remove the engine and the rear axle, yep, that prior is... to you coming in. Nice. Okay, um, question number six. Can you only sell in an auction or do you buy cars too? I think you've answered that, right? Yeah, briefly covered that. So yeah, yeah, you can obviously sell your car through the auction, but we do also buy cars through the cash for cars. Spot on. Um, question number seven. A lot of people have been asking me this. So some people have registered, but then for some reason they're not able to bid in any auctions? Yeah, so all new members have to re uh, register their account two days before the auction. Okay. Uh, the basis for that is is that member services manually accept or decline all, all new memberships. And, and like you said, they can decline someone's application yeah, yeah. If, Obviously, if they're not happy for various with... reasons. Okay. And I, I'm sure you won't want to share those reasons. Right? <laughs> Unfortunately <laughs> not, no. Okay, um, I'm trying to think what you guys want. What do you guys want to know? Um, so so a, few, a few of the biggest ones, uh, the writing on the screen. Yes, okay, a big one. you guys are always asking, what does X stand for or what does X signify? So the different letters, the suffixes can indicate whether or not they're trade or insurance vehicles. Okay. Um, yeah, the, the X is an insurance I vehicle. I get this question all the time. Can, you, can we go through the, the, the suffixes? Just briefly. Yeah, so obviously X. X is insurance. P? Insurance. C? Trade. And people say, is it P? No, you said P. So that's yeah, that's the three and they'll be the three of the biggest I've ones. I've even seen someone said what's E? 
Yeah, so, so again, there are a few other ones that we use, but they generally are insurance. Yeah. So the majority of them are insurance, insurance yeah. and trade is only C? Yep. Okay, no problem. And then we do have Q cars as well, yep. which will be uh, things like fleet and the cash for you cars. Spot on. All right, Sam, thank you for your time. It was good. Yeah, no worries. Um, no, I've okay. learned something new today. I hope you guys have. Yeah. Um, we're going to go around and check out a few cars, and then I'm going to be heading off. So, Sam? Yeah. Nice it's one, good man. to meet you, mate. Cheers. <laughs> All the best. Yes, bro. All right, you guys, so I hope that has answered some of your questions. If you're watching this and you didn't post yesterday, I tried my best to ask the questions that you guys wanted to know. I hope you found it informative. I surely did. But now it's time to go check out a few cars. Like I said, Copart not only sell budget little runarounds, they also sell more high-end cars. And I've got a nice selection of cars to go check out. So let's go. Alright guys, so we're going to start with this lovely Honda Civic Type R from Copart down in Sandy. It's got this real aggressive body kit on it. The lines are just super, super aggressive. I think the doors are open. Um, as you can see, it's got the front lip is all off, but oh, these suede seats are really, really good. The interior is super, super clean. And one thing about the cars that you get, I always say this, man, like, it's not just because Copart are it's not just because Copart are sponsoring this channel, it's literally the, the, the array of cars you get with Copart is just next level, man. But have a look at that. I think the key's inside, I want to start it up. Oh, God, hopefully they, they don't tell me off for this. That deal's pretty tight in here, though. Wow. I am definitely not getting one of these. Look at that, I can't even get in the car. Um, maybe this is just too low, hold on. Okay, okay, that's better. So clutch in. Have a look at that. It actually starts. Keys are here. And this is ready for auction. So this is going to be going into the auction next week. Turn that off, sorry. This is going to be going to auction next week. And yeah. So if you're ever wondering what happens to the cars at Copart, they kind of like just get put into little quadrants depending on if it's cleared or not and it's just going to sit here for a little bit um they take the pictures and then it goes into the auction but i was told not to keep it running too long because it's got front end damage so i don't want to cause any further damage but let's check out the damage look at these alloy wheels alloy wheels look nice um it's got these massive brembo brakes that's one thing in the f one thing about the hondas they're really really good um the japanese man they put a lot of good engineering into their cars but this one is looking like it needs a front bumper Obviously, slam panel's gone, crash bar's gone, but that looks like minor damage. And someone's gonna get lucky with this car because I've, I've had a look inside. You can see that massive air tech intercooler and it looks like someone's put a lot of money into this car. But yeah, happy days. Wing is completely toasted, oh my God, look at that. Um, but yeah, coming around the car, everything else is very nice. I'll be checking that out in a minute, but <laughs> let's hold on. Um, right next to that one is this lovely audi what is it q3 i believe it is i think it's a q3 but once again Interior is very, very clean, very minor damaged. Um, it's an S line, but look at that spec. Ah, Q2, it's a Q2. Can you see that? Yeah, Q2, so it's not a Q3. Um, let's see if this starts up. Like I can do this all day, guys, but like, this is my definition of heaven. Salvage car heaven. Oh, mate. Goes into gear, comes out of gear. Hold on, turn that off. Okay, don't want that noise. These new Audis, the interiors on them are really, really nice. I remember Audis used to have boring interiors. Um, but yeah, all of the car manufacturers are stepping their game up. But this car literally feels brand spanking new. I really want to see how much miles is on this thing. Um, but I'm not really familiar with this layout. Oh my God, look at that. Look at the Google image. Look at that for Speedo. Oh my God. That is crazy. Um, how do I get away from that? 6,000 miles. 
6,273 miles. This is a brand spanking new car. And you can get this in the auction soon. Like, if you're looking for a little family car, this will make a nice little family car. Look at that. Q2. They've got the license plate covered up, so I can't even see what year it is, but look at that damage. This is practically nothing. I was told this runs, it drives, it's a cat in. Should be no structural damage. No, look at that. No structural damage, cat in. Bloody hell. All good. Lovely little Q2. Moving on, look at the CLA. Now I saw this, I was speaking to one of the guys when he was offloading this. The damage on it looks bad, but you know what I always say in my videos, looks can be deceiving. If you remove this broken wing, this broken door, where's the damage? It's locked. Ah, it is not locked. There's the key inside. Oh yes, the key's there. Let's go start it up. Whee! Okie dokie. So, once again, from the Q2 to the CLA. Look at this thing, man. The interior, does it start? Anti-theft system. Hit the unlock button. Of course it does, look at that. Oh my God, guys, the interior on this thing is spanking, spanking, spanking. Like, what would your favorite car be? Hold on, if you could get any car from Cole Park today, what car would you get? I know what I'd get. I'll get a Lamborghini Huracan, that's my dream car. And listen, I'm gonna grind. One day, you're gonna look back at this video and I'm gonna be driving a Lamborghini Huracan, I've called it. I'm not even being cocky. I'm gonna work my ass off and I'm gonna get what I want. That's what you have to do in life. But anyway, let's go continue. Cause we've got tons more cars to get into. So let's go have a look. So let's just switch this off. Where's the switch? Just switch that off. I don't want to cause any damage cause I will be liable for any damage caused. Now this one, I saw this earlier and it says electric shock risk. And that one has got me a little bit worried, but still want to check it out. Um, interior, once again, is very clean. So this is something new that they've started to do. They actually clean the interiors on these cars before they get them and before they put them into the auction. So that car there's got two keys. Um, I'm not going to try to start this one because it says there's a risk of electric shock. I don't know what that means, but you know, I'm not going to take the risk. But this is a new Jeep. I think it's an electric or hybrid but it looks really good, really clean. That dash though, I can imagine that dash is gonna be an arm and a leg to get a new dash for this car because it's a brand new car. Now these are the fleets of Cole Park vehicles and these vehicles, they actually come out and collect your cars, drop off your cars, whatever the case might be. And this is why they're so quick when there's, for example, if you're selling your car, they'll send one of these to your house all over the UK and they'll come and get your car. So yeah, new fleet. They're moving that one out now. These are the infamous forklifts that you get at Cole Park. Um, and I'm told that they're trying to come up with a safer way, a more productive way of moving around the cars. Let's go check out this Range Rover. Bloody hell, this door is a, it's heavy. <laughs> That's the first thing I've noticed. Like, what do you guys think of Range Rovers? I don't necessarily like them. Um, I feel like ranges are very overrated. Um, and I feel like you're paying for the brand. They do come up with some nice little things, like I love this touch. Everything's all touch there, everything's all touch there, everything's all touch, touch, touch. But I'm told that this engine is a Renault engine. Um, there's no power to this one, it's completely dead. It's not starting. But yeah, it's still, it's nice, don't get me wrong. I'm not gonna slag it off. It does, it is a nice car and I'm happy with that. I'm happy to have a look. Let's go see what the damage is. So coming around, not much damage to this side, front end, it's got a few scratches there, but nothing too crazy. Back around here, there's no damage. Hmm, interesting. On the rear, 
no damage. So yeah, we've looked at everything and that just leaves this old beast. Oh my God, check this car out. I ran up a check, I might do it again. Enemies close, have me thinking they're friends. Ten toes down, I'll be free until the end. Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my ass. Took so many years, I've been swaying for the wins. I'm in debt to no one but the one who took my sins. I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend. If I do it once, I do it again. Add it up, add it up. Bankroll, bankroll. Euro, euro. Peso, peso. Add it up, add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me. Oh, you matter what. So guys, the... <laughs> Check this car out. It's a Ferrari. What is it? I feel embarrassed now. I don't even know which model it is. But it's a nice looking car. So, oh, <laughs> what does it feel to sit in a Ferrari? It feels very uncomfortable, very low, um, but it is amazing though. <laughs> this is a lifelong dream to either have a Ferrari or a Lambo. And as I said earlier, I'm going to work my ass off until I do. Um, but yeah, this is very minimal. This is the racing type. I quite like how everything is just focused at you. There's no screen, there's no fancy nothing. It's just, yeah. Ferrari 458 Italia. Ooh, look at the batch. Like the quality on these cars is just next level. Like the leather just feels amazing. Look at that little battery tucked up under there. Um, it is a simple car, but as you can see, look, you've got all the different controls there. This is the kind of stuff you see in Need for Speed and F1. So F1 inspired steering wheel. It's got the shifters there, all these different traction controls. Um, yeah, I want to start this car up. Let's go get the key. So let me tell you something funny. So they gave us the keys for all the other cars, but the Ferrari, they kept it in the pocket. So <laughs> I can see the guy over there. Let me just go call him and get the key for the Ferrari. Start it up. And then I knew that I was coming. So I picked up a little car from here as well. So after we finish off with here, let's go get my little car and then we're going to hit the road. So guys, I got the key for the Ferrari, but I was told that this car, because it's a high value car, it's taken quite a long time to get sorted with the insurance company. So I think it's dead. Yeah, there's no power there. So they've gone to get me a booster pack. Um, and they're gonna start it and leave it running. And then we can check it out. The key's in there, it's in there. All right guys, so this is a, a 2011 Ferrari 458 Italia. Um, it's completely dead. They've just fired it up. They've got the booster pack connected. Um, let's check out the damage. You can hear the fans come on. Like these headlights are just crazy expensive. Front bumper, crazy expensive. You're gonna need a new front bumper and it's got some damage up in there. I can hear that going really, really quiet. You can hear that really, really bad. Obviously a windscreen. A windscreen on this car is just gonna cost an arm and a leg. So the slightest little damage, they're just gonna write it off. Um, look at the size of these brakes, man. Crazy, crazy specs, crazy, crazy car. And it's lovely, man. It's a lovely, lovely car. Oh. So, inside, there's no power steering. So that's another thing as well. Sometimes you might think, oh, it's not too much. Um, the damage, is, it doesn't seem that bad. But when you imagine like, a power steering rack. I'm assuming it's a power steering rack that's gone. A power steering rack on this car, it's a sports car, it's a Ferrari. It's gonna be thousands and thousands of pounds. So that's why it probably will just write it off. Windows are all working. It's a lovely, lovely car, man. Lovely, lovely car. Right, one day, living the dream, one day. Um, I was told that there's no coolant and you can see the coolant light right there. There's no coolant in the car. So I don't want to give it one rev. Oh, oh. I don't want to spoil anything or ruin anything, so I'm going to switch it off. You can hear the fans in overdrive. I'm going to switch it off and we're going to start to wrap up. So guys, we've come down to Cold Park in Sandy. We had a chat with them. They answered your questions. I showed you around some cars. I've had a look around some cars. There's a Lamborghini down there that is crazy, but I can't put it on film because it's not cleared the insurance process yet. So that one is just for my eyes only. But for now, there's yet another reason why I came down here. Oh, guys, so that was that was eventful that was fun so we're in this little waiting area now this is where all the drivers come in you come through the main gate you check in over there 
and you bring your van and your collection or whatever it is and you wait and then they'll bring the vans or the cars out and stick it in the loading bay and then you can come in. But here's another big old delivery of salvage cars. Blood, yeah, that was quick. I came here in the little Scirocco. If you haven't seen the video of me taking delivery of this Scirocco, it's like bringing her back home. I took delivery of this from Coalpark Sandy actually last week, fixed it up. It's not 100%, I need to change that lip because that's how it came, but we're gonna be getting this car 110% selling it as well, but it drove impeccably all the way here. Another Mercedes about to go. Audi about to go. Like, they've just got so many cars. This is a, what is it, Discovery. Just landed. This wasn't here when I parked up. Got all of these vehicles, like literally just crazy, crazy, crazy. And this is one of the smaller units. So guys, it's been fun checking out all the cars here at Coal Park. But another reason why I came down is I picked up a lovely little build and it's going to come out any minute. So you're getting another new build in this episode on top of everything that we got up to today. But you know what? No more talking. Let's go check out the new build on the channel. So guys, this is literally behind the scenes. See, they've got the padding on the front so they don't damage the front of the car. Um, so I picked up this little Polo. It's a little automatic again. Look at that interior. I knew this is going to be a good buy. I just knew it. It's so clean already. Check it out. 1.4 little Polo. Cat in, minimal damage. And this is all tied in really nicely. It's very active at the moment. It's gotten really busy, but still, Hopefully you guys, you can hear me okay. Let's get the key and see if she starts up. It did say run and drive, so I'm not expecting any kind of surprises. It's only got 48 on the clock, as you can see. Press the brakes, spot on. Like literally, I've got traders insurance. I can drive this car home, but ah, spot on. Have a look at this, what's inside? What is this? I love it when you find these little packages. Spare key. Happy days, spare key. I can feel it, spare key inside, spare key. And full service has, spare key and is this full service history, where's the book? I just love it when you get these little things. Um, roadside assistance, radio, oh, come on, don't gas me up. Warranty wise, so that's good, it was, it was under warranty. Ah, but it's not got the service book. I'll have a better look later on. So I've opened it up and I thought it was just a spare key. I definitely felt, yep, definitely felt a spare key. But guess what? I guess these are the bits that kind of identify the owner. Maybe that's why they took it out. But yeah, you've got the service history. 36K, 46,000. So apparently it's just recently been serviced. 47,000 on the 28th of the 4th, 2022. And guess what? full logbook is present as well happy days happy happy days so logbook service history spare key guys can't go wrong very very happy with this little buy damage looks like this front bumper completely gone new front bumper there and a wing definitely but for me it's been a long old day here at Coal Park Sandy I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you gained some sort of information or insight from what we did today if you did press the like button if you're watching this and you're not subscribed consider subscribing to my channel we got content like this coming every single time every single video I release two videos a week so yeah consider subscribing and I'm gonna head off I'm knackered I'm hot I'm muggy so I'm in good spirits and I hope you are too so like I always say keep it moving and I'll see you in the next one guys thank you for watching click here to see what youtube thinks you should watch click here to watch one of my previous episodes and like it said there don't forget to like comment share and subscribe we out